Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi mina shaitan al-rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yassir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu kawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. We'll start from page 166. We'll go to the exercise. And you know, after the end of the lesson, I always request you to go through the lesson again at home and then try to write the exercises. Huh? Try to write the answers for the exercises, you know. Inshallah, you'll do that, huh? okay? Because see, if you read the lesson once and you try to do the exercise, maybe we haven't got 100% grasp on the lesson. We know some parts well, we don't know the other parts. So if you read a couple of times and then answer, it's very easy, brothers and sisters. Okay, for example, لما سافر أحمد إلى مكة. Why did Ahmed travel to Mecca? لإيادة أخي المريض. سافر and then you can say like it's very very simple, brother. من أين مجاهد؟ ومن أستراليا. Okay. هو أصلا من الهند. Huwa aslan min al-hind. We can say like that, brothers and sisters. Hajara abuhu wa huwa shahabun. His father migrated 
when he was young. I like that, inshallah, you will do it. Huh? Okay, we go to the other exercise. We have already done the conjugation of verbs. Huh? And inshallah, you did write everything that was required. Fiel file. Okay. Fiel Mahdi, Fiel Modaria, Amar, Master. Inshallah, you wrote it down. Okay. Now we come to this exercise, brothers and sisters. And that is number seven. Tamal. Tamalil Amsila Talatiya Talibab Fa'ala. Va'ayin fiha and specify in it al madiya al mudariya wal amra wal master wasmal fa'ili wasmal maf'ula so inshallah we'll try and do it it's very very easy brothers and sisters very easy number 1 hajaran nabiyu is there anything interesting yes hajar this is form 3 what is it Mahdi, huh? fine. Now I am asking you, huh? Sister Mamuna, I am asking you this question. Min, and after that there are two words. How will you give the vowel signs at the end? Min, makata, and then al mukarra. Say it loudly. Al mukarrama. Ti, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. See, we got to figure out. Huh? Makkata, I gave it a fatah because it is mamnu minasar. Now it is majroor. And the naat, if it comes, has to be majroor. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Ask you one more question. Why? There is al, al, al mukarrama. Why? There is no Allah on Makkah. Because Makkah is a proper noun. It is definite. Huh? It is definite. So it cannot have Al. But if the Naat comes, then it will have Al. Huh? Because the Manut is definite. So Naat has to be definite. Inshallah. Fine, brother and sister. And then, brother and sister, Ila Madinatil Munawwarati, Munawwara, Munawwara, is a maful from form to. Are you with me? Nawwara, Yunawviru, Munawvir, and Munawwar. Huh? Okay? Then Ama, with single fata. So what is Ama? Zarf. Zarf is Zaman. But there is a single fata. So in other words, there has to be no Mudaf huh? We won't say it is Mudaf. We will say only it is Zarf. Huh? Okay? And then the mudaf ilahi follows. What is the mudaf ilahi? Isnaini. See? From isnani it became isnaini. It is majroor. Wa alamatu jarrihi al yaw. Li annahu musanna. Isnaini. Wa ishrina. What is ishrina? Okay, well, sister, this is on the pattern of jama muzakkar salim. And ishrin is majroor. Bil, ya. All these things we must uh, keep in front of us. Okay. Wasitta miyatin lil milad. Okay. Inshallah. We understand that. Safara huh? abi. Again, safara came. Safara fil madi. Ila riyad. File is abu. Lil ilaj. Brothers and sisters, Abad Hassan, what is ilaj? Is it anything of interesting? Elaj. Huh? Master, mashallah. What is the verb? Alaja, you alaju. All these things should come to us. Elaj huh? is a master. And the pattern of Elaj is fial. Huh? We got two patterns. Huh? Remember, got two patterns of master for form three mufa'alatun and let me write it down so that you remember it. Huh, brother? Mufa alatun and fialun. Pattern of mustard, brother. Huh? Al 
master. Form three. Okay, brother. We also say Bab. Bab Mufa'alatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters, inshallah? Number three, Zahab tu. I went. Li Harchar. What is after that? Mukabalati. So, what is Mukabalati, brother Muhammad? The master. Master. Okay, fine. Now, give me the fiel. Kabala, mashallah. Then give me the mudariya. Yukabil. Now give me the amal. Kabil. Kabil. Is it like that? Our mind should analyze it, huh? inshallah. Huh? That's the way, brother, you will become expert. And I have hope. And I have great hope that you will all become experts, inshallah. So, Zahabtu ila Mukabalatil Mudir. What is the translation? I went to meet the Mudir. Okay. Falam. I did not. Falam. Ajithu. I did not find him. Fi Maktabihi in his office. Got the idea? I went to meet the Mudir. But I did not find him in his office. Another nice sentence, brother. I hope we all say this. Maindi huh? Vaktun. What is it? Maindi Vaktun. Translation? I don't have time. You don't have time to eat? No, no, no. I always have time to eat. You don't have, to, don't have time to drink tea? No, no. I always have time to drink tea. But I don't have time to... Watch the television. Subhanallah. Huh? Huh? What a beautiful statement. Ma hindi waktun li mushahadati. Brother Haider Ali. Mushahadati. What is it, brother? Mushahadati. Here, look at here. Mufa'alatun. So what is it? Masta. Huh? What is the word? Shahada. Mudariya, Yushahid. Amar, Shahid. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Huh? Right. I don't have time for watching the television programs. Huh? Baramij's program, huh? Tilfaz. Okay? So, Li Harchar, Mushahadati, Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, Baramij, Mudafilehi, Wahua Mudaf. And then Tilfas, the final Mudafiri. If you look at Tilfas, what do you see? It's a definite. Finally, when the chain of Mudaf Ilehi will end, 99% of the time it will be definite. Or it will end with a pronoun which is always definite. Keep that in mind, brother, inshallah. Now, Ali is told. Ya Ali, O oh Ali, Nadil Murakiba. Nadil Murakiba. Murakiba is Mafulun Bihi. Okay? Uh, Sister Abhi, what is Nadi? Nadi? Um, no. It's Amar. What is the Mahdi? Nada. Huh? What is Mahdi? Nada. And then? Junadi and then Nadi. How will you define Nadi? Fialu Amarin. Mabniun ala Hazafi Harfi illa. Let me write down. Nada. So that you get extra practice. Junadi. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, Brother Hassan, how many chops? Two chops. Huh? Both sides. Huh? Now the result is Nati. Got the idea? Huh? Call. What is it? How will you translate? Call the supervisor. Oh Ali. Ji? Is the is the mafurun bihi. Where is the file of Nadi? Mustatir. Takadiruhu anta. But is a is ismu file. MashaAllah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Murakib. Is also ismufail from form three. So what is the verb? 
Rakaba, Yurakibu, Mashallah. We got two interesting things in this sentence. Excellent, excellent. Next one, brother and sister. Ana Morasilu Sahifatin. What is the translation? Sister Naima. Morasil is one who corresponds. So I am the correspondent of a newspaper. Huh? I am a correspondent of a newspaper. So what is Morasil? Sister Hafsa? It is some file. What is the verb? Rasala Yurasilu. Mashallah, mashallah. Excellent. And it is Mudaf Mudafili. Ana Muftada Murasilu Khabar Wahua Mudaf and Sahifatin Mudafili. Now, brothers and sisters, tell me one thing. Sahifatin. Huh? Sahifatin. It is indefinite. What about Murasilu? Is it definite or indefinite? Indefinite. If the Mudafili is indefinite, then the Mudaf is indefinite. Keep that in mind. Huh? Fit tanzili in the Quran, brothers and sisters. Rabbana, what a beautiful. One day we are going to analyze this whole ayah. Huh? Inshallah. Inshallah. Rabbana, okay. Ya is mahzuf. Rabba, huh? Rabba, uh, Munada, uh, Mansub. Huh? And it is Mudaf. Huh? And Na is Mudafili. Okay. Rabba is Munada, Mansub. Huh? And Harfu nida is ma'zuf, okay? La, la an nahiya, huh? okay? Tu'akhiz, what is tu'akhiz? Uh, Sister Sukhayna, tu'akhiz. Mujariya majzum, wa alamatu jazmihi as sukun. What is the verb? Akhaza yu'akhizu. We can easily take akhaza as form four. But it is form three. We must remember. La tuachiz na. Where is the file of tuachiz? Mustate. Takdiruhu anta. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Na is mafulun bihi. Okay, brothers and sisters. Na is mafulun bihi. Okay. What is the meaning of la tuachiz na? Pardon me. Forgive me. Are you with me? Forgive me. Do not hold me responsible. Okay? For my mistakes. Okay? In, what is in here, Sister Sukhaina? Harfu shart. Tajizimu fialaini. Okay, fine. Nasina. Our favorite. Nasina, Hasina. Remember? What is Nasina? Now let me write it down. Tell me, where is the verb? Nasiya. And what kind of a verb is this? Nasiya. Huh? So, where is the verb? Nasi. Huh? Because mutaharik pronoun has come. So, lam kalima must get a sukun. Where is the file? Na is the file. Huh? Na is your file. Huh? Okay. Now, this is madi. Sister Sukhaina. Nasi is Mahdi, so we will say Fi Mahali, Jasmine, Fi Alushat. Yeah? And then Harf Atskans, and then what is the next line, brother? Akhtana, Akhtana. Now tell me, Sister Sukhaina, what is Akhtana? Make my day. Huh? What is it? It is form four, mashallah. Akhta. Akhta'a yukhti'u. So it is akhta. So where is the, where is the verb? Akhta. Same way. Huh? Na. Yes. Huh? It is form for akh. Like this. Akhta. Okay? Sure. And na is the, this is your verb. And na is your five. I will read to you. Fine. So, see, the shart came late. And jawabu shart came fast. So it can also happen, you know. Same way in we, we say, you know, fazakir 
इन नफत जिक्र अरे विस्मित सब ही इसमें रबी कर फिर इन नफत जिक्र सो इन नफत जिक्र इज योर शर्त अरे सो जवाब उस शर्त के बिफोर इट ओके एंड दे इज अ वे ऑफ राइटिंग दैट इन शाह विल डू इट लेटर ऑन हाउ डू वी डिस्क्राइब इन ग्रामर टर्म्स इन शाह बट वी डू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे इज अ शर्त हियर and there is a job of shart also but they came in a different sequence you know jawab came first and the shart came later huh? inshallah so here also the shart came late in nasina aw akhtana what is the meaning of in nasina aw akhtana ha huh? sister sukhaina if i forget ha huh? if i forget and if i make mistakes two things huh? please forgive me ya allah forgive me pardon me if i forget or if i make mistake huh? such a beautiful dua brother the dua if you if we understand i say we including me if we understand it will melt your heart huh it will bring tears to your eyes if we understand and directly huh directly brother huh you you do, you need not translate you will understand it inshallah word by word inshallah sister naima you got a very long sentence huh? okay and this is hadith from our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allahumma baid Huh? What is it, brothers and sisters? Baid, Amar, Baada, you Baid. What is the translation of Baid? To keep away. Huh? What is it? Keep far away, not away, but far away. Huh? To keep far away or keep separated. That is the meaning of Baad. Remember, Baouda. Okay. and then we have baid and this is baada isolate okay baini what is baini baina is zarf ha so zarf and mudafili ha baini because of ya mutakallam na became ni wa baina khata ya ya khata ya ya ha what is this khata ya ya my mistakes mudaf mudafili huh? remember brother all these things we have done and we must khata ya now i want to add ya mutakallam hmm? the pronoun make it mudaf mudafili normally ya mutakallam will pull the last vowel sign down to kasra but not in this case why because before it there is a alif huh? so when this situation comes then the ya mutakallam gets a fata huh? we got to remember this huh? khata ya ya okay is khata ya definite yes yes why because the mudaf ilayhi is definite huh? i cannot put al on khataya that will be wrong okay if i put al on khataya then i got to remove this it cannot come as a mudaf mudaf ilayhi this rule huh? Huh? we must always keep this in mind huh? inshallah huh? so baid baini wa baina khataya you know isolate from me between me and my mistakes or keep them both separated far away kama like kama means like you know baatta see baatta what is baatta madi where is the fiel baad huh? and the ta is five who is ta allah subhanahu wa taala you are addressing him in second person he is in front of you okay baata bain al mashriqi wal maghrib as you have separated mashriq and maghrib 
Ya Allah, please uh, keep my mistakes separated from me. I want, I've made a lot of mistakes, now I want to be far away from them. I don't want to make any more mistakes, you know. Allahumma. So this was our verb of uh, interest. Huh? Ba'id and Ba'atta. Huh? Allahumma. What is it? Nakini. Now what is this? This is a new verb. Huh? We haven't studied. Huh? What is the verb? What is the verb? Nakka. From? From two. Huh? Nakka. What will be the mudariya? Yunakhi. We we are good at mudariya. Yunakhi. And what will be the amar? Nakhi. Amar will be nakhi. With single kasara. Okay. And then nunu vikaya. Brothers and sisters. And then ya mutakalam. O Allah. What is that? Naki means to purify, to clean, huh? to purify, to clean. Huh? Brothers and sisters, Allahumma nakini, purify me, purify me. Min al khataya. See now, min came and al came. So khataya, from the mistakes. Huh? Kama, like. What is the next word? Yunakka. What is yunakka? Majhul. Huh? Majhul. Huh? Okay, brother. Nakki, yunakki. Now make yunakki into majhul. Yunakka. Huh? We have done this. Yunakka, so where is the knife file? Asaw, the gown, the dress. As the dress is uh, cleaned, purified. The white dress. <laughs> the white dress is cleaned and purified. Minad danasi. From the dirt. Uh, from the filth. Uh. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Allahumma. Now here, we will say, Allahu magsil. What will you say? Allahu magsil. Uh, okay. Wash. Now again, khataya ya. What is it? Khataya ya. My mistake. Khataya is mafulun bihi wa huwa mudaf in ya mutakallim. Mudaf ilayya. And where is the file of egisil? Mustatir takdiruhu. Anta. Again, anta. Second person. He's in front of us. Okay. Bil mai. Wash it. My mistakes with water, with salch. What is salch? Snow. Okay. Ice. Well, birth. What is birth? Hail. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, I want to tell you something, but I will, inshallah, tell you very soon. I was uh, going through the books. And I found something I thought I should uh, share with you because you are very strong. Okay? Normally, we do not go in detail. Sometimes we do not go in too much detail. Uh, but you are so strong, I feel like sharing this with you, inshallah. Now, this is another, okay, that's, I'm telling you a little later, inshallah. This is number nine. This is uh, also a rewaya, brother. An kadata, no kadata is the, an is preposition. So kadadatu became kadadata. It is a name huh? of a person. Kaala, he said, kultuli anasin. What is it, brothers and sisters? Kultuli anasin. I said to Anas. Now Anas was the servant of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Akanatil musafahatu. Akanatil musafahatu. Fi ashabin nabi. What is the translation? Was there handshaking? Huh? Among the 
uh, companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Did they used to shake hands among themselves? What is the answer? Naam. Okay. What is the word of our interest? Musafahatun. Are you with me? Musafahatun. So what is Musafahatun? Uh, master. From Safaha. Yusafihu. So this is the word of our interest. Sister Abhi, you asked me yesterday, the characteristic of this form that there is a participation eh? Eh? among people. Eh? Okay, I, I told you. This is one of the characteristics. Eh? So every form that we will study, they have different characteristics. You know? Okay. So this is one of the characteristics that it is participation. Al Musharakatu. Eh? Okay. So Safaha means you shake hands with others. Rasala, you correspond with someone. Eh? Okay. Katala is to f- fight. So you always fight with, you don't fight with yourself. <laughs> There's somebody else with whom you have to settle your account. Eh? Anyway, brothers and sisters, we go forward now. Another beautiful verse from Quran. You can analyze and understand, Brother Hassan, each and every word. Each and every word. It is within our grasp. Huh? Ta'ala. What is the Allah, brothers and sisters? Huh? What is the Allah? Mahdi. What form? Form six, brother. You got to remember, mashallah. Excellent, Sister Hafsa. May Allah bless you and bless us all with more knowledge. Ta'ala, exalted. Ka'ala, brother and sister, what is Ka'ala? Fi'al Mahdi. And fire is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huwa. Then what is Ta'ala doing here? This is parenthetical sentence. Parenthetical sentence, just like we say uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Or we take the name of a sahabi. And we say, Radiallahu anhu or anha. So these are parenthetical sentences. Okay. So, Kala Ta'ala, form 6. Ta'ala, what is the mudariya? Ya Ta'ala. And what is the Amar? Ta'ala. Huh? Without Ya. Ta, ta'ala. Huh? Now, brothers and sisters, I'm just reminding you. Ta'ala is used as an amr to call somebody. Ta'al. Ta'al. But it, actually it is ta'ala. Okay? But when we stop, we say ta'al. We give a sukun to lam. Okay? Inshallah you'll remember. So in the amr, the meaning is different. Because it is used to call people. Okay? Fine. Inna. Oh. What is inna? First it is Jumla Ismiya. And what is inna? In plus ismu inna. Are you with me? In plus ismu inna. Huh? Very good, brother. Where is the khabar? Jumla failure. The Jumla failure is coming as a khabar. Anzalna. Anzal. Huh? Form 4. What is the verb? Anzal. Huh? Let me write it down, brother and sisters. An Zal and then Na and then Hu. What is it, brothers and sisters? The normal sequence of a verbal sentence. Huh? Fiel, Fael, and Mafulun Bihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Inna Anzal Nahu. No, brother, the Damir who must go somewhere. Where does it go to? It goes to the Quran. Always the Damir has to go and refer to something. Okay, so who is your Quran? Are you with me? Now see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, indeed we brought down the Quran. We brought it down. Okay, when he Brought it down. Fi laylatin. 
And what is after that? Mubarakatin. So what is Mubaraka? Ism maful. Ism maful. Okay, from Baraka, Yubarak. Got the idea, Mother We brought it in, the, in a blessed night. That's what is Lailatul Qadar. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate Lailatul Qadar huh, as the night of the Nuzul of the Quran. Huh? So, Quran is the most important thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed on the mankind. And whenever, think of, whenever you talk about Quran, remember, brothers and sisters, the ultimate miracle, the everlasting miracle, the perpetual miracle. That is the Quran. Till the end of time. Till the end of time means as long as human being is alive in this earth, Quran will remain miracle. Ultimate miracle. Alhamdulillah. And we are very fortunate that we have received this uh, revelation to guide us in our daily lives, but in order to take the maximum benefit out of it, we must learn the language of the Quran, inshallah. Again, brother and sister, inna again, inna harfu taqid wa nasbin wa na ismo inna. Brother Hassan, where is the khabar inna? Kunna. Okay. Brother, I consider this class as a mental gym. What is it? Do we go to gym to exercise? This is our mental gym. Our mind gets the exercises. Huh? Kunna. What is kunna, brother? Hassan, can you think of it? Brother Muhammad, what is kunna? Brother... Uh, I, I won't ask Brother uh, Azhar because he knows it. Uh, what is kunna? Okay, I go to, I go to, I go to Sister Sumaya. Sister Sumaya, what is kunna? If you don't know, that's normal, brother. I, I don't say it's, you know, I mean anything uh, bad about it. It's normal. We forget. Sister Aisha, kunna. Sister Mamuna. G? Huh? Sister Maria. Kana mashallah, mashallah. I wanted to hear the verb kana. Huh? Are you with me? Kana. Are you with me? Kana yakunu. Okay, let us conjugate, brother. Kana, kana, kanu, kanat, kanata, kunna. Kunta, kuntuma, kuntum, kunti, kuntuma, kuntunna, uh, kuntu, kunna. So what is kunna? Fiel, madi, kana, plus ism. Are you with me? What is it? Fiel, madi, plus ism. This is your fiel, madi. Are you with me? Uh, and then this is your ism. And we give an idram and it becomes kunna. You got to think, huh? Think hard, brother. Brother, you have been working very hard. Huh? Keep your spirit and your tempo steady. Keep it up. Huh? Inshallah, 15 more lessons and we will complete the book. Huh? So, inna kunna. We, now when... Kana comes with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It applies to Madi, present and future. Are you with me? We are. We were, we are and we will be. Are you with me? We will be. What? Munzarina. Brother Hassan, what is Munzarina? Huh? See, as I told you, our mind got to think. Everything we have studied. Munzarina. Hmm? What is the verb? Anzara. Anzara, yunziru. Make it some file. Munzirun. Munzirun. Huh? 
And brothers and sisters, from Munzirun we get Munziruna. And then from Munziruna we get Munzirina. Why Munzirina? Khabarkana Mansurban. See? Easy. Khabarkana Mansurban. Munzirina. What is the alamat of Nas? Yeah. Liannahu. Jama. Mudakar Salim. Got the idea? Brother and sister, excellent. Huh? Brother, now we finish this. Now I want to tell you something. When, we're, when we were doing uh, this exercise in the last lesson, brothers and sisters, Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I told you this is a form of expression huh? that you want to warn somebody. Huh? What is iyaka? Tahzir. Tahzir. From hazzara, you hazzir. What is the hazzara? <coughs> to warn somebody. Huh? To warn somebody. So iyaka uh, is used for warning. Okay, and I did not explain you too much. In fact, I said something uh, that iyaka is kind of a ismu fail. I said that. I do remember. Yeah. Okay, uh, I said that. But you see, I was uh, reading Dr. Abdurrahim's uh, some uh, instruction in the book, and he explains. So I'm going to explain you, brother. Iyaka, brother Hassan. Is mafulun bihi like that iyaka? Are you with me? He, but, uh, Hassan asked me, is there any difference between iyaka here and iyaka in Abadu? And I said, you know, that is definitely mafulun bihi, iyaka in Abadu. And this is a form of expression uh, separate. But then it is also mafulun bihi. See, the scholars can explain one grammar. Uh, aspect or problem from different angles and, and they all can be right are you with me one gr grammar problem can be explained from different points of view just like we were doing uh, yesterday haladullu uh, kum alatijarati remember in that yagfir came then we tried to explain why it is majizum fine so here, brothers and sisters, if you take iyaka mafulun bihi, okay, then there has to be a fiel. You cannot have mafulun bihi without a fiel. Somebody has to produce mafulun bihi. What is the fiel that is mahzuf? Are you listening? Yeah. Watching? Stay away. You, you stay away. Are you with me? You stay away. Okay? You stay away. And then again, this is Mansu. So it will be Baid Kalbas. Stay away from dogs. You stay away from the dogs. Are you with me? So in both cases, Baid is there. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Or another verb. Brother, watch for it. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Wazeruka. Yeah. I'm warning you. Are you with me? So again, this verb. You can write it down, brother. You can write it down. Uhaziru ka. Okay? But this can only be understood who is strong in verbs, you know, and can understand the, uh, the fiel file, mafulun vihi, very well. And then here it will be, brother. What is the brothers and sisters? 
Wahdir. This came from Hazara. Are you with me? And this is from this is form two, and this is from form one. Huh? See, Hamzaf Amar, Hamdudul Wasal, Wahzir, Kilab means be careful of the dogs. Huh? So if you <coughs> take like that. Then both of them are mafulun bihi for the verb which is mazuf. Huh? Okay? Now this is going in too much of a detail, you know. And sometimes Dr. Abdurrahim does not recommend that we should go in too much detail. Huh? So it will be easier for us and simple for us if we took as a iyaka, a iyaki and iyakum, uh, iyakunna, and then plus wow, and whatever the thing that we are warning about, coming after that, you know. For example, like we did, brother, iyaki wahazihil majalla. Stay away from this magazine. Okay? Are you with me? Or if I can say, the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Iyakum wal hasada. You know, stay away from the jealousy. Huh? But if you want to analyze it in detail, then Iyaka has also a fiel mahzub, which is ba'id, or uhaziruka, okay? And hasad will have also either a ba'id as a fiel for making it uh, mansu. Or Wahzar. Are you with me, brother and sister? I want you to take a note of it. Huh? Okay? But if we remember the expression, what is the expression, brother and sisters? Iyaka will come. It will only come for the second person. And how many pronouns we have in second person? Ka kumakum, ki kumakunna. So you put Iya and then the pronoun, and then wa will come. And then whatever you are trying to warn will come after that. And it will be a noun and it will be mansu. Huh? Like iyakum wal hasada. Huh? Are you with me? Iyakum wal hasada. Okay. Inshallah you will keep this in mind. Huh? I thought I should mention it to you. Huh? Next, brothers and sisters, what is next? Can you tell me what is next? What is next? Halwa Puri. What is it? Halwa Puri, brother. We have done it so many times. And you will, inshallah, do it. Very, very easily. What is it, brother and sisters? Very easy. What is it, brother? Inna, which is harfu tawkid wa naspin. And also there is another harf for Tauki, uh, then that is Lamul Ibtida, the Lam of beginning, that begins the sentence. And when Lamul Ibtida comes, brothers and sisters, it emphasizes the whole sentence. Remember that. La Rabbuka, La Rabbuka, Kafurun Rahim. La came, but it did not change anything. Are you with me? Okay, we did it, okay. La Rabbuka, La Rabbuka Gafurun Rahimun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Lamu Ibtida. Huh? Lamu Ibtida. Okay? It emphasizes the whole sentence. Okay? But if Inna comes, then the Lam moves. Huh? It will move from here and it will come to Khabar. So I will say, Inna. Now I have to give it a fatah here. Lagafuru huh? Rahim. That's all. It is called Lamu Mozalik. What is the meaning of Mozalik? 
to slip. Like somebody slips on a banana peel. Huh? Okay? Slip. Or, as I said, if you want to remember this as a skating lamb, it skated to the khabar. But there are many things in the Quran. You will, inshallah, inshallah, brothers and sisters, look for it in the Quran. There are hundreds of examples. In Allah, lagafuru rahim. So you got it. Hadihi lamul ibtidai dakhalat ala khabar innal maksura. Now, Brother, tell me in al maksura. What is the meaning of in al maksura? Inna. In al maksura means there is a hamza with kasra. Is there a hamza with fata somewhere? Anna. Yes. So, so what is inna? It is inna al maksura. And anna, anna al maftu. Okay. You remember this term, huh? Okay, brother. This is inna. Okay, and then there is a anna. Huh? Are you with me? See, anna here it is maftu. Huh? When you say maftu, it does not mean open. And when you say maks- maksur, it does not mean broken. Maftu means it has got a fata. Maksur means it has got a kasra. Huh? And brother, this lamb, mosaic, the skating lamb, will only come only, only, only with inna. It cannot come with anna. That will be a, a big mistake if we use with anna. No, it will only come with inna. Huh? Remember that, okay. Okay. Innal maksura. Uh, and that will be annal maftuha. Okay. Okay. What to samma? What is to samma? Majhul. Samma, you sammi. Summiya. And then you samma. To samma, it is called, brother, he is in at that time. Uh, at that moment, lamal muzalak. Ha'a, what is ha'a? Khuz. Ha'a is khuz, ismu fi'al. It is tufidu amar. Amsilatan, take examples of lilamil muzalakati. Okay, fine, brother. Inna ilahukum la wahid. So, how will you analyze it, brother? Inna harfu ta'kid wa naspin. Ilaha ismu inna. Mansubun, wahua mudaf, kum mudafili, and then lam, lam muzalik. Huh? And what is wahid? Khabar inna. That's all. Khabar inna. That's all. Simple. simple. I told you halwa puri, brother, and I mean it. Fine, brother. What a beautiful sentence, brother. Inna avhana. What is avhana? This is superlative degree. It is a smooth of deal. Af'alu, ismu, tafdil, like akbaru, ajmalu, asgaru. Remember ismu tafdil? The comparative and superlative degree. It is, what is the verb? Wahana. What is the verb? Wahana. To be weak. The Ufa. Okay. Now from Sister Sukhaina, from Vahana, you get Avhanu. Okay, Avhanu. So what is the translation? In Avhana Buyuti. Huh? The frailest or the weakest of the houses. La See how beautiful. Can you translate? No, no, no. Uh, if you try to translate, you will only emphasize inna. You will not emphasize la. Huh? Inna awhana buyuti la baitul ankabu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Are you with me? La baitul ankabuti. Fine, brothers and sisters. 
Another beautiful example in the Quran. Inna Ankara. What is Ankara? Same. It's mutafteel. We can easily mistake for form four. No, no. Verb cannot come after inna. It has to be noun. So in Ankara, Aswatu, the harshest of the sound, the most unpleasant sound, the ugliest of the sound is the Lasautul Hamir. See, see, see the beauty of the Arabic language. Eh? Inna and then La. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? What a beautiful sentence. The next one. Innahu la Quranu. Huh? Innahu la Quranun Karimun. Huh? Okay, brother. See the power and intensity of the language. One has to feel it. Okay? Inshallah. Inna awwala baitin wudiya linnasi. Uh, truly, certainly, the first house uh, which was appointed as a sanctuary for mankind. What is it? is the one, is the lazi, and then lalazi. Lazi, and then lalazi. Be bakkata. Bakkata is makkah. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, you know, if you go home, I want you to look at two surahs. Huh? One is Surah Al-Kalam. Are you with me? Look at Surah, only four verses in the beginning. Huh? Surah Al-Kalam. Huh? And also, then you also look at the Surah Al-Adiyat. Huh? Because in them, there are verses with Inna and La. And you can feel it, brother. In Surah Al-Adiyat, it is... Uh, Inna linsana li rabbihi la kanud. Wa inna hu ala zalik jila shahidi. Himself is a witness. And then, wa inna hu ala hubbil khairi la shadid. When it comes to making money and amassing wealth, brother, I've got lots of time. <laughs> I can work 24 hours a day and make money. You know, he's, he's violent when it comes to making money. You know, and then in the end, in Rabbahum Yawmaizin Lachabir. Lachabir. See, see the power of it, brother. Huh? I want to tell you Surah Kalam, brother. Noon. Huh? Now, Noon is a disjointed word. Only Allah knows the meaning of that word. Huh? And what is that? Wal Kalami. So, what is this wow? Wow al Kasam. It acts like a preposition. So, Kalami. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the pen. Wama yastaruna. The word is satara. Satara means to draw a line. Huh? Satara yasturu. To draw lines. But here it will amount to wal kalama. Wama yastaruna. And, and what they write with it. And what they write with it. So Allah is swearing by the, by the pen. Okay. And what they write with it. Okay. Ma anta. You are not. Be niyamati rabbika. With the grace of God. Be majnoon. You have not lost your mind. People accuse our Prophet wasallam That he has become majnoon. He has gone off his mind. Allah says no. Ma anta. Be niyamati rabbika. Be majnoon. And what is after that, brother? Wa inna laka. What is it? Wa inna laka. Fine, brother. Laka came. So what is laka? Jar majroor. Shibu jumla. Khabar inna. And now if the lamb has to come, it comes on the ismu. Inna. Are you with me? So what is the uh, verse? Wa inna laka. La ajran. Wait. Huh? I, I want to tell you something. Wa inna laka. Are you with me? La ajran. La ajran. So what is inna ajran it is? 
And Ajran is indefinite, so it came late. And because the Jar Majur Shibu Jumla is Khabar, so it comes in the beginning. We have learned that, that most of the time, the uh, uh, indefinite Muftada or Ismuina will come late. And in that case, most of the time, the Khabar will be Jar Majur Shibu Jumla. Huh? So, in Nalaka La Ajran, huh? for you, there is a great reward. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Now, after that, what is it, Sister Manas? What is it? In Laka La Ajran. Tell me the word properly. Gai Vai Gaira. It is a naat. It is coming as a naat for Ajran. Huh? It is coming as a naat for Ajran. Huh? No, we got to understand this. Huh? We got to understand this. Inna laka la ajran la ajran ghaira. So this is your naat coming for ghaira mamnoon. Mamnoon. Meaning there is no limit. Uh, unending. So, brothers and sisters, in Nalaka, La Ajran, Ghaira. It's coming as a naat for Ajran. Ghaira Mamunu Nin. Gairu Ghaira will always be Mudaf. Uh, they'll be Mudaf. Uh, next one, brother. One of the most beautiful verses of the Quran. Are you with me, brother Muhammad? Are you with me? I'm telling you now the most beautiful verse of the Quran. One of the most. All verses are beautiful. Wa innaka. Wa ala Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is getting a certificate of character. You know, when you go and apply for a job, you need a certificate of character. Either your doctor gives you a certificate. Or our uh, a priest gives you a service that I know this person so and so is of a good character. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is writing a certificate of character for Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is that certificate mentioning? Innaka. Truly, truly. See, innaka. And then, that inna was not enough for emphasis. Then Allah is using lama mudhalik. Innaka la ala khulukin azim. O Prophet, you, you have the character which is most lofty, which is most splendid, which is most magnificent. And sister, let me write down the verse. Huh? And you analyze it. Huh? And we have to ponder over it, brother. Wa huh? innaka huh? And la came. Brother Muhammad, you analyze it. What is wa? Look at the board. What is wa? Harfu at. What is inna? Harfu taqid wa nasbin. What is ka? Ismu inna mansub. And what is la? Lamu Muzalik. Again, Tawkeet. Huh? And what is Allah? Harfucha. Huh? And then what is Khulukin? Isam Majrur. And what is Azim? Naad. Do you see? No, we understand in Arabic. Huh? I don't have to translate. I understand in Arabic, brother. Inna kala ala Khulukin Azim. So, if I remove Inna, and if I remove la, what will be the sentence? Wa anta. What it will be? Wa anta ala khulukin asi. As you are on a lofty character, a splendid character. Now I want to emphasize. So I say inna. So anta will change into ka. Because it's uh, inna mansub. So inna ka. 
Okay. I, I'm not satisfied with that. I want to even emphasize it one more time. Further than I say, La ala. See the power and intensity, brothers and sisters. La ala khuluken azim. You know. So this is it. We will inshallah understand like that. Huh? This is from uh, Surah, Surah Al-Kalam. Go home and just look at it. Brothers, these four verses that I mentioned, you will understand it directly. Huh? You will understand it without translation. Inshallah. Huh? And then you will love to recite it. Inshallah. Now, we always say, every single day I'm sure, all of us, Wal Asr. That is also Wahul Kasab. Wal Asr. In al insana. Again, Lafi Khusrin. What is this, brother? These are uh, emphasis, uh, making it a very important statement. You know, that all mankind is in loss, except those who believe uh, and do good deeds. They will not be in loss, but the rest of the mankind is lost. Now, brother and sister, I am writing my favorite sentence. Huh? Okay, before I say that, brother and sister, I want to tell you, Inna ka la ala khulukin azim. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brother and sisters, huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala certified that you are on the most magnificent, splendid, loftiest character. And he is our teacher. Huh? He is our teacher. We learn from him. He was called Alameen. Huh? Most trustworthy. Never told a lie. And we are his uh, ummah. On the scale of 1 to 10, I want you to reflect on yourself. Where do we stand? On the scale of 1 to 10, where do we fit? If we reflect on this, brother, we will always try to improve ourselves. Am I at 9 or 7 or 6 or am I at 1? Or maybe I am minus 1. Huh? So, brother, these are the things that will make us ponder on this verse. Huh? If my Prophet, beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah has said that he is on the most lofty character, then where I am? Is going to write some certificate, somebody a certificate for me? And if they write it, how will they write it? We got to ponder and improve ourselves for that. We are all human beings. We do make errors. But we must not repeat errors. Huh? Here is a, another most beautiful sentence. I say one of the most beautiful sentences. Think pondering over, brother. Brother Hassan, you analyze it and you tell me the meaning, brother. Huh? I'll help you. Inna. There is no Lama Muzalik here, but without the Lam, it is so powerful, brothers and sisters. And ponder over it, think over it. Inna. Harfutakidwanas. Where is Ismu Inna? Akarama, you can see, Mansu. What is Akarama, brother? Hmm? What is Akarama? Of course it is Muda. What is the meaning of it? Same thing that we were studying. What were we studying? In uh, Avhana. What is Avhana? Ismu Tafdil. In uh, Ankara. What is Ankara? What is Akarama? <laughs> huh? Akarama Kum. What is the meaning of Akaramakum? The most honorable among you. What did I say? The most honorable among you. Truly, the most honorable 
amongst you in the Allah. What is the meaning of Allah? With Allah. In the sight of Allah. Who is the most honorable amongst us in the sight of Allah? Huh? Brother, we all want to be near Allah. Brother Muhammad, look at this sentence, brother. And we try to understand in the sentence what Allah is guiding us to. Huh? Truly the most honorable amongst you in the sight of Allah is the one with most taqwa. Huh? Again superlative. This is a sentence worth pondering over. Inna akramakum. Inna Allahi atakakum. The one amongst you, Allah is saying, brother, this is Allah is saying, the one amongst you who has got the most taqwa is most honorable in the sight of Allah, brother. And then, where do we find what is the meaning of taqwa? This is the beauty of the Quran. That each ayah is explained elsewhere by different ayats, you know. Inshallah, someday we will try to understand what is the taqwa mean. If you get a time, you will re read the ayah number 177 from Surah al huh? 177. It's, the scholars call it ayatul birr. That describes the person of taqwa. Uh, who is the person who has taqwa? That ayah describes. Huh? Are you with me? And in the same way, brother, the first few verses of Surah Al-Baqarah also describes that. Huh? Okay, brother? Alif Lam Meem Zalik Al-Kitab La Raib Afihi Hudallil Muttaqeen See? Uh, it's a guide to the muttaqin. Now, who are those muttaqin? Then Allah is describing them. They are characteristics. So, you know, Quran is explaining itself in a different ways. So, we ponder over Quran and we enlighten ourselves, enlighten our hearts uh, by understanding it directly, inshallah. If you read in English, it's not the same thing. I mean, it's okay so long as you don't know Arabic. But brother, how long we are going to remain like that? Huh? And I tell everybody, brother, it is never too late to learn Arabic. What did I say? It is never too late to learn Arabic. And you are, are you listening, brothers and sisters? You are never too old to learn Arabic. You are always young. Inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? So that's done, brother and sister. Number nine. Kad fatat kad durus. Iza dakhalat kad ala fiyal maadi. Afadat. What is it? Afadat taqeed. What is afada? Form four. To indicate. Afada yufidu. To indicate. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It indicates what? Tawkid. When does Qad indicate Tawkid? When it comes with fiel Mahdi. Okay, fine. Qad wasalatit ta'iratu. The plane has already arrived. Okay. Qad futiha babul maktabati. The door of the library has opened. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now comes. Something else for us to understand. وَإِذَا دَخَلَتْ أَلَا فِيَلْ مُدَارِيَا What happens when Qad comes in فِيَلْ مُدَارِيَا? Afadat. It indicates. What does it indicate? A shak. A doubt. And what is this? Al ihtimal Possibility. Doubt or possibility. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Now. Kad yaudul mudiru gadan. What is the translation? How will you translate? Ada yaudu. To return. Kad yaudul mudiru gadan. How will you translate? Maybe uh, the mudir will return tomorrow. It means you are in doubt. Uh, there is a possibility. Uh, okay, fine. Kad 
you look at the sky and it is cloudy, what will you say? Kad yanzirul mataru al yawma. Maybe it will rain today. There is a possibility that it will rain today. So Kadd came with Yan Zilu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Another word. Kadd Yatil Mudiru Gadan. Maybe the Mudir will come tomorrow. Okay. I, that is to say, Yumkinu, it is possible, and Yatiya Gadan. Brothers and sisters, Yumkinu has come. Where is the file? Master Muhammad. Remember that. Okay. His returning is his coming is possible tomorrow. Fine, brother. Number two, what does Kad indicate? Takleel. What is Takleel? Master. What is the word? Kallala. What is it? Kallala. What is the meaning of kallala, takhleel, rarity? Huh? Huh? It's very rare. Okay, fine. Okay. What is rare? It can also, kad can also sometimes describe that thing is rarely accomplished. What is that, brother? Kad yan jahut talibul kaslan. Now, brother, lazy student cannot succeed. Are you with me? Or can he succeed? No, no. But sometimes. So this cut is telling you that sometimes even a lazy student succeeds. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But what is that cut telling us? It's a rarity. It's a rarity that sometimes even a lazy student is successful. Are you with me, please? What is the I, I means that is to say Ahyanan. What is the meaning of Ahyanan? Sometimes. Yan Jahud Talibul Kaslan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now all these things are explained in the key, but because they are very easy, I'm not going into that detail. I will go soon, inshallah. Zawul Kurba. Relatives. Zawul Kurba. Zavu, Jamau, Zu. Yoribu, Eraba, Jamal, Muzakar, Salim. You do the analysis of Jama, Muzakar, Salim. And what is that? Eraba of Jama, Muzakar, Salim? Marfu, Belvao. Are you with me? Mansu, Belya. Majroor, Belya. That is the Eraba of Jama Muzakar Salim. Will you? Inshallah, I hope you remember, brothers and sisters. I hope you remember. Now, we have examples. Zawul Korba Ahakku Bi Musaadatika. Are you with me? What is the translation? Your relatives uh, deserves, has the more right for your help. Okay. Brother uh, Muhammad, yes. eh? what is Zawu? What kind of a sentence is this? When I say what kind of a sentence, either it is Jumla failure or it is Jumla Ishmael. What kind of a sentence is this? This is my What are we looking for? So where is Muptada? Zawu is Muptada. See, we think like that. No? Zawu is your Muptada. Wahua. Mudaf, always Mudaf. Huh? And then where is Mudaf Ilayi? al Qurba. That is your Mudaf Ilayi. Got the idea? And what is Ahakku? Ahakku? What is, what is Ahakku? This is also Ism Tafdeel. Huh? This is your Khabar. Huh? Huh? And B have Char, Musaidati, Ism Majru, Mudaf, Mudaf Ilayi. Got the idea? What is in the bracket? Marfu. Belvao, uh, inshallah. Brother, Jalis Amar. Uh, Jalasa Yujalisu. Jalis. Okay. Sit. Uh, with whom? Zavil Ilm. What is Zavil? People who possess Ilm. 
sit with the people who have knowledge so that we can learn from them. Are you with me, brother and sister? Who possess knowledge. Sit with people who possess knowledge, brothers and sisters. Hadihi Masakinu. Brother, Hadihi Masakinu Tulabi. I only want you to analyze this. Brother Hassan, where are you? Hadihi Masakinu Tulabi. What is Hadihi? Where is the Khabar? Masakinu is the Khabar. Tulabi. How will you translate, brother? Masakinu means residence. So what will you say? These are the residents of the student. But what kind of a student? Huh? So brother, Tullabi is Majroor. So what is Zavi? Majroor. Huh? Okay? Not. Is Tullabi Jama? Yes. And is Zavi Jama? Yes. Okay? So, this is your naat. Zavil ailati. Huh? These are the residents of the students with families. Families. Right? There are certain residents reserved for families. Got the idea about that? So, what is zavi here? Naat. Bahuwa mudaf and then mudafili. Got the idea? Mislu zavu, like zavu, ulu. Uh, are you with me? I explained you a couple of times, brothers and sisters. Mana wa iraban in meaning and its in its irab. Meaning and its irab. Ulu is like zavu. Okay, fi surat namal. In the surah namal, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, uh, it describes. Kalu, who are these Kalu? Uh, Kalu, uh, they said, who are they? These are the courtiers of Queen Sheba. Uh, when Hazrat Sulaiman sent a letter to Queen Sheba, uh, the letter was read in the court, the courtiers were sitting, all the army officers and everybody, and they said, Kalu, they said, what did they say? Nahnu ulu We are the possessor of strength. Wa ulu bas. What does bas mean? Basun courage, valor, uh, might. Uh, we are the possessor of might and strength. Okay. Shadid. Strong. Uh, okay. Wal amru ilaiki. Ilaiki. See, and the matter is with you. You be the judge. Huh? You decide. She, that's a Queen Sheba. Got the idea? The meaning of Ulu, it comes in the Quran in many places, brothers and sisters. So Ulu is, is equivalent to Zavu. But what is the difference between them? Zavu has got a singular, Zu. Ulu does not have a singular at all in the Arabic language. Just Ulu. Khalas. No singular, brother. Okay. Fine, brother and sister. Next one, brother and sisters. Arafta. And la kinna min akhwa ti inna. You knew that la kinna is from the sisters of inna. Takulu, you say. Hamidun mujtahidun. Hamid is hard working. Lakinna sadiqahu. What is sadiqa? Ismu lakinna. Mansu. Okay. Kaslanu. Are you with me brothers and sisters? But his friend is lazy. Is the khuffifat. Khuffifat. What is khuffifat? Majhul. Huh? What is the uh, malum? Khaffafa. To make something light. Huh? Khaffafa means to make something light. Is a. No, this is a shartha, huh, brother. Khuffifat. If it is made light, 
O humilat. Okay, brothers and sisters. It is disabled. O humilat means it is disabled. Okay. Now it does not have the effect of uh, uh, making something mansu. It has no effect on the sentence. La kinna with shadda is a sister of inna. It has an effect in the sentence. But if you make it light, remove that shadda and give it a sukun, then it has no effect. Huh? So, uhmilat is also majhul. Here it will mean disabled. Okay? Wa dakhalat ala jumlatain. And then it will enter on the two sentences, Jumla Ismiya as well as Jumla Fairliya. Brothers and sisters. Now, Ja al Mudarrisu, the Mudaris came, Lakinit Tullabu Majau. So, Lakinit Tullabu. Put Lakinna, then you will say Tullaba. Okay. Okay. If you put lakinna and then you say tullaba, tullaba is ismu lakinna. Okay. Now, lakinit tullabu. What is tullabu? Sisavza? Muqtada. What is it now? Muqtada. There is no effect. Are you with me? Then it became muqtada. Where is the khabar? Majau. They did not come. The mudaris came. The students did not come. Next one, brothers and sisters. Fi tanzil in the Quran. Lakin is zalimun al yawma. Fi dalalin mubin. Translation, brother. But the wrongdoers are today in manifest error. Now, brother, put lakin with shadda. What will you say now? Well, lakin nas zali. Meena. Now what will Zali Meena will become? Ismu Lakinna. Now what is Zali Muna now? Muqtada. Huh? Because Lakin has no effect on the sentence. And what will you call this Lakin? Is a lighter form. Lighter form of Lakin. Did you get it brothers and sisters? You got it? Inshallah. I think the lesson became quite a heavy duty. And what do we need? <laughs> we need to energize ourselves. Eh? Let us take a break, brothers and sisters, for 15 minutes, eh? inshallah. Brothers, jaldi jaldi. Brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. We move forward. Uh, I just want to again go back to the Quranic uh, verse, brother. Inna akramakum indallahi atakakum. What is the translation? The most honorable amongst you in the sight of Allah is the one who has the most piety. Taqwa is the piety. Or you can say, who is most righteous. Are you with me? Who is the most righteous? Or who, is, who has the most piety? That is the meaning of taqwa. So, Brother Heather really asked me, uh, what is the meaning of taqwa? So, piety or righteousness. Eh? Inshallah, you will keep that in mind. Now, brothers and sisters, I want you to go back to lesson, uh, uh, page number 83 for one moment. Eh? <coughs> Dr. Abdurrahim is explaining the use of Qad and Madi and Mudariya. So on page 83, number 3, Sister Madina asked me this question and I feel that we should understand it. In our textbook, only two things were mentioned. What was mentioned? Then when the Qad comes to Mudariya, brother, it denotes doubt or possibility. Uh, that is one. Or it denotes rarity. Are you with me? But in the textbook, number three is not given. Certainty is not given. Uh, brother, 
وَقَدْ تَعْلَمُونَ This is the call of Prophet Musa. Huh? Okay? While you know for sure, for sure, that I am the messenger of Allah. So, here the Qadd, whether it denotes uh, any of the other things that we just said, or does it denote certainty? The, the context will tell us. Okay? But to come Qadd as a certainty in a fair mudariya, it is very rare. It is very rare. In the Quran it has come. Huh? Maybe outside the Quran you may not find it. You may not find it. Huh? Are you with me brothers and sisters? So do not get confused with number three. Huh? In the Quran it has come where Qadr has been used with Mudariya and it denotes certainty. Which is actually what happens when Qadr comes with Fial Mahdi. Then it is Tawkid, Tahki, certainty. But in Mudariya, very rarely it can also have the effect of certainty. So do not get confused with this. Okay? Those two things, okay, what is the what are the two things? Number one, which is doubt and possibility, and number two, rarity. That is common. Okay? Inshallah. Now, next page, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Number six. Dakka in Ulaika, Tilka, and Zalika may be replaced with he, kum, and kunna, according to whom you are speaking to. So, underline this according to whom. You are speaking. Huh? Fine, brother. The use of this is optional. It is not compulsory. It is optional. Maybe you will not find it in, in a everyday life. But in the Quran it comes. When it comes in the Quran, we got to understand. And that is another beauty of the books of Dr. Abdurrahim. Because he is trying to teach us the Arabic language in the light of the Quran. So here is another rule, brothers and sisters. Watch it, brother, carefully. And you should highlight it. Okay. The first sentence. Liman zalikal baitu ya bilal. Fine, brother. Ya bilal comes. It is one person. So zalika. Fine, brother. Now, liman Zalikum. Are you with me? Liman Zalikumul Baitu. Ya Ikhwan. So, brother, Zalikum. Because you are talking to Ikhwanu, so you use Kum. Huh? Okay. Does it change the meaning? No. Has no uh, uh, you know, effect in the meaning. Okay. Now we are talking to Maryam. Liman Zali Kil Baitu. Are you with me? Because it is a mourners. So it is the Damir is he. Are you brothers and sisters? So Liman Zali Kil Baitu Ya Maryam. Now we are talking to Akhawatu. What will you say? Liman Zali Kunna. Huh? Baitu ya akhawatu. The same way, brothers and sisters, tilka saatu jamilatun. Are you with me? Tilka saatu jamilatun. So what is tilka? Muftada. Saatu badal. Jamilatun. Khabar. Now, we come to tilkum. Tilkumu saatu jamilatun. See, jamilatun is still singular. Huh? But why did you use kum instead of ka? Because you are addressing brothers. Okay? Same way, til kissatu. So, til kum is also, the whole of it is muftada. It's not mudaf mudaf lehi. Are you with me? It is not mudaf mudaf lehi. 
Huh? If you say, Tel Komo Sa Atu, it is not, Tel Komo is not Mudaf Mudafili. It's just a way of addressing. Are you, okay, brothers and sisters? So, Tel Kis Sa Atu, Jamilatun. Tel Kunna Sa Atu, Jamilatun, si. Jamilatun comes in singular. So, and the Sa Atu is also singular. Okay, fine. This is called, what is called, brothers and sisters? Tasarrufu Khafil Khitab. And it is optional. It is not compulsory. It is optional. In the Quran it comes. In the Quran it comes. That's why we got to understand it. Okay. Zalikum khairun lakum. Now zalikum is actually zalika. Zalika khairun lakum. But zalikum khairun lakum. Because Allah is addressing lakum, brothers and sisters. It gives a meaning that kum, antum, you are being noticed, you are being recognized, eh? is a kind of a, giving them a little importance. Are you with me? We are going to do that and I'll make you understand inshallah. A kuffaru kum khairun min ulai kum. It is actually ulai ka. Ulai kum, okay. Kala kazaliki. Huh? Okay? He said, thus it will be. Anudu an tilkumu janna uristumuha. What you have inherited. Uristumuha bima kuntum tamalun. Are you brother and sister with me? So, actually it is tilka. Are you with me? It is only tilka. But it has been. Uh, addressed as Tel Kum. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we go to the textbook. And I'll try to explain you a little more. Zalikum khairun lakum. Yajuzu. What is the meaning of Yajuzu? Jaza. Yajuzu. It is permissible. What is permissible? Fi kafil khitabi. In the kaf of the khitab. What is the meaning of khitab? In the address. Khitab means address. Okay. Fi zalika wa tilka. Okay. A tasarrufu. What is it? Tasarrufu. What is tasarrufu? Master. Form. You should have said me right away. Tabassum. Huh? Sister Hafza said form 5. That was good, Sister Hafza. May Allah bless you and all of us. Huh? Tasarruf, tabassum. Okay, form 5. Tasarrafa. Ya tasarrafu. Okay, fine. Huh? What is the meaning of tasarruf, brothers and sisters? Actually, declension. What is it? Declension. Wa ma'ana tasarrufi. And what is the meaning of tasarrufi? An yura'a. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? An yura'a. What is yura'a? Al mukhatabu. Al mukhatabu is naif file. What is it? Na- and yura'a is majhul. Now, let us see what is the verb. What the verb looks like. What is it? Ra. And Yura E. Now make it majul. What is the meaning? To take into consideration. Okay. Are you with me? In respect of. So what are you doing? That when you are talking to somebody, to make him feel more important, you know, we use uh, this tasarruf. Okay, yes, brother, you are being noticed. 
You are involved in the dialogue. What is it, brothers and sisters? You are involved in the dialogue. You have been noticed. Brothers and sisters, I wrote it down. To make the addressee feel that he is involved in the dialogue. That is the meaning. Eh? To make the addressee feel, I'll write down, brother. <clears throat> well, this the sun rule fool, huh? which is, brothers and sisters, uh, the using of uh, damir with zalika and tilka huh? to make the <coughs> and see, feel that you are involved in the dialogue, huh? in the dialogue. It is optional. Are you with me, brother and sister? Make sure you write down, it is optional. Because Zalikum and Zalika, both are used in the Quran. Okay? It's optional. But when it is used, it means, you know, you are giving a little importance to the addressee, make him feel that you are involved in the dialogue. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Or you can also write down one thing, brother. You are not left out. Huh? You are not left out. You are involved in the dialogue. Huh? That is the meaning of <coughs> the tasarruf. When you use it like this, brother and sister, that's it. It does not change the meaning. Huh? So, an yura'a al mukhatabu means that. Mukhatabu is addressee is taken into consideration. Huh? The mana of tasaruf is what is the meaning of tasaruf? That the mukhatab is taken into consideration. Will you write it down, please? The mana tasarrufi and yura'a al mukhatabu. So, what is that, brother? The mukhatab, which is the addressee, is taken into consideration or with the respect to the addressee eh? or according to the addressee. You know, you use it. Ka, ki, kunna, and kum. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? That's it. Okay? And it will come in the Quran. So when you get in that in the Quran, it should not confuse us. It should be very clear. Liman zalikumud daftaru ya ikhwanu. But the daftar is one. We could have said liman zalikat daftaru. But Dr. Abdurrahim is using why kum because of ikhwan. Liman zalikumud daftaru ya ikhwanu. Now amina. Huh? Akarati tilkil majallata ya amina. No, brother, we could have said tilka also. Huh? But in order to take her into consideration and get her involved, we can, from tilka, we can say tilki. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That's it. But again, the use of this is optional. Huh? And uh, it's in the Quran, so we. Must know the rules, inshallah. Okay. Number 13, brothers and sisters. Yagfir lakum hona yagfir majzumun bittala. Remember? Zalika li anna tu minuna. Brother, tu minuna is mudariya, but it conveys the meaning of amar. Aminu. Aminu. Okay? Fi ayat is sabikati. Bimana. Amen. Okay, brother. Number 14. Very easy and very interesting. 
Iyadatun. Mastaru a'ada ya'udu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the pattern? Fi'alatun. What is the pattern? Fi'alatun. See, patterns we have to remember, brothers and sisters. Bima'ana. What is the meaning of a'ada ya'udu here? Zar al Zar al Okay. Brother, Ada has the meaning Raja. And at the same time, it has the meaning of visiting a sick person. Huh? Okay. Hatil Masdara Mafulun bihi Masdara Min al Afwal al Atiyati Allah Vazni Fiala Tun. Okay. Darasa. Now, brother, these are the vocabs we must memorize. Darasa, dirasa. They are very easy, brother. Darasa, dirasa. Kataba, kitabatu. Zara, ziaratun. We know it, huh? inshallah. Karaa, kiratun. Walada, viladatun. And rawa, Rivayatun, uh, rivayatun. We know these, inshallah, but we will try to always keep it in our mind. Huh? These uh, master, brothers and sisters. Now I come to another important thing, which Doctor Sahib has mentioned, and that is, brothers and sisters, mudiyun. Now in this, I would like you to pay attention because we are doing some. Mathematics and algebra here. Huh? Brother? Madha. Very, very common word. What is the root of Madha? Huh? I'm writing root also. Ma, da, and ya. Remember this root, okay? Madha. What is Mudarya? Yamdi. What is ismu fa'il? Ma'adin. You know, fi'alu ma'adin? Fi'alu ma'adin? What is ismu fa'il? Ma'adin. Okay. Mada yamdi. Ma'adin. Okay. Mashal. What is the meaning of mada? To pass. Huh? He passed. Huh? He passed. Or to pass. To pass. Mada? Now you have to make a master from Mada on the pattern of Fu'ulun. Keep this in mind. Fu'ulun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fu'ulun. So how will you make master? Uh, mu. Mu. Do yun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is this? Ya. What is this? Wow. They are not compatible. Huh? So, wow has to change into ya. So, I am changing this into ya. Remember, it has got a sukun. Huh? Do I change that wow into ya? Yes. Now, Ya is there, and there is a Dhamma. They are not compatible. So what shall I do now? Okay, now I will make a Dhamma of the two Ya's. And what will happen now? Mu, Di, Ya. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? See, we are doing all mathematical things. Uh, Brother Hassan? Budu Yun. This is Ya. Wow? No. Wow and Ya are not compatible. So Wow changed into Ya. Fine. We made one change. When Ya came, Ya and Dhamma are not compatible. The Dhamma must change into Kasra. And so it changed into Mudi Yun. Brother, if you will write down the changes in your notes, 
then you will never forget. And if you won't write it, right now you are understanding. After a week or two, it will be forgotten. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the next word, brother? Hava. This is the verb, Hava. Now make the master on the pattern of Fu'ulun. How will you make it? Hu'uyun. How will you make it? Hu. Vu. Yun. Because of this ya, I have to change this into ya. Because of this ya, I have to give a kasra here. What will be the result? Who huh? we? Yeah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Once you become strong, then your mind will be able to trace everything. So when you see Modi Yun, brothers and sisters, passing. What is it? Passing. But it is from Mada Yamdi. Are you with me? What is the meaning of Hava? To pounce. To pounce. Okay? Hava means to pounce. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. There's another thing, we go back to the key. I want you to make certain things. Make some highlights, brother. Page 85, number 10. The broken plural pattern. Fa'alilu. What is it? Fa'alilu. Huh? What is this fa'alilu? Masajidu. Fanadiku. Mafailu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is the pattern. Plural. Pattern of broken plural. Brother. Okay. Fanadiku dafatiru. It's called, what is it called? Everybody should read with me. Muntahal Jumoi. Muntahal Jumoi. Okay. Sounds a very scary word. <laughs> okay, brother and sister, remember the first day in our class? <laughs> first day in our class, brothers and sisters, I said to you, you got to memorize Marfu, Mansub, Majroor. It did not make any sense to us, but I insisted that you memorize it. Alhamdulillah, it makes a lot of sense to us. So, even if this does not make any sense to you, just memorize it. Muntahal Jumu'i. Muntaha, what is it? As Sister Sukhena said, it is from eight. What is the verb? Intaha Yantahi. What is Muntaha? Isam Mahfu. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. I'm going to enjoy my lunch today. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Huh? Brother, it gives me immense pleasure. Because now you see, without my mentioning, your mind is working and tracing it. Alhamdulillah. That is why I can say with more confidence that all of you will become masters in Shara. You will become very strong. So, Muntahal Jamui. It is Mudaf, Mudaf. But then, if you hear the word, or if you hear this Murakab compound, Multa, Muntahal Jumui, what does it mean? That the, that the plural is on the pattern of Mafailu or Mafailu. Are you? Here, Dr. Sam has mentioned uh, Fa'alilu. Are you with me? Whenever you will hear the word Muntahal Jumui, it should not scare you. All it means. Then the, it is a broken plural on the pattern of fa'alilu. That's all you have to remember. Or fa'alilu. Footnote, right at the end of the page. Highlight it, brothers and sisters. Huh? 
What is it? This plural pattern has a name. This plural pattern has a name. What is the name? Multal Jumuri. So try to memorize this Multal Jumuri and, and for the rest of the course you will be laughing. You will be laughing. Okay? Muntahal Jumuri means uh, it's on the pattern of Fa'alilu or Fa'alilu. Huh? Okay, fine, brother and sister. Now what happens, see, here we have Funduk, it's four letters. Daftaru, it's four letters. Masjidu is four letters. Are you with me? What happens if there are more than four letters? And you have to form a plural on the pattern of Muntahal Jamoi. On the pattern of Muntahal. What happens then? Then some of the letters are dropped. Are you with me? In order to fit into the pattern of Fa'alilu. That's all this exercise is telling us. And brothers and sisters, as they will come in front of us, inshallah our mind will understand and we will be able to memorize it, inshallah. Barna Maju. What is it, brother and sister? Barna Maju. Okay, how many letters are there? Six letters. Six letters. But I have to make it on the pattern of Muntahel Jumu. So it will become Baramiju. What will it become? Baramiju. Huh? Okay. Now we have to come across these and inshallah you will be able to then later on figure out. Or maybe some of you are very strong in Quran. You already know it. You know, inshallah. Is a Jumial Ismu Lazi. Jumia is your Majhul. Al Ismu is your Naifai. Huh? If the noun is made plural, which has Al Lazi, Hurufuhu, Khamsatun, Aw Aksar, more five or more than five, Ala Sigati, Muntahil Jumui. Huzifa ma zada ala arbaati. Everything more than four has to be dropped. Okay. Nahwa. Safar jalun. What is it, brother? Safar jalun. Safar jalun. What will be now? Safa riju. Now, safar jalun is the fruit, brother. Uh, it is the fruit, okay. Ankabutun. An kabutun. What will be the an anakibu? What is it, brother sister? Anakibu. An the leaf, night angle. What will be the jama? Ana dilu. Got it, brother and sisters? Very good. Mustash Mustashfa. Uh, this is Nakes. So here we have Mashafin. Now tell me what is Mashafin? Tell me what is mashafin? Mashafi, you, because it is on the pattern of mafai lu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Mashafin is on the pattern of mafai lu. Like ma'anin. Are you with me? Ma'ani you. Mashafin, mashafi you. Or you can have a jama, mu'annas salim, mushfayatun. Huh? Mushfayatun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now here's another exercise. Tujmau khatiyatun. But what is khatiyatun? Sins. Sin or offense. Khatiyatun means sin or fault or offense. It is made jama. Khataya. Okay. Allah Khataya. Okay. Ijma. Asma al Atiyata. Hazal Jama. Make the following nouns on this pattern. Okay. On this Jama, brother and sister. Hadiyatun. Hadaya. Hadiyatun. Hadaya. So, inshallah, you write down at home, brother. What is matiyatun? 
Mataya. What is Matiyatu? The animal which is used for riding, like horses, donkeys, camels, elephants, any animal that you use for riding. Riding animals, you can say. Matiyatun means? Hmm? Al haywanu al yurkabu, which has been ridden. Maziyatun, mazaya. What is maziyatun? Points, merit. Okay? Good quality. Sariyatun saraya. Brigade, in, the, in an army or detachment. Okay? And then shaziyatun shazaya. But the shrapnel, a fragment, a splinter. Okay? And zaviyatun zavaya. What is the meaning of zaviyatun? Corner. And, uh, corner. Uh, angle. Angle or corner. Uh, okay. But uh, we may not come across these uh, uh, prolets, but good to practice, inshallah. At least when you will come across, you will remember, brother. Hati. Give, brother. Hatil fil ladhi ushtukka minhu ismu tafdil. But I give the fil which has been derived from ism tafdil avahana. Wazkur minhu mudari our master. Okay, brother. What is the verb? Wahana and yahinu. Okay. And Wahnun. Master is Wahnun. Okay. Wahana Yahinu Wahnun. Okay. Uzkur Arba Ayatin. Warada Fiha Hazel Fiel. Mention four verses of the Quran hmm, in which this Fiel has come. Aw Mushtakatuhu or its derivatives. Are you Mushtakatuhu or its derivatives? So not necessarily the verb itself, but in any form it has come. So even Avhana is the derivative of Vahana. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah you will work on this and you'll try to trace four verses. From the Quran. If you have difficulty, you can look into Hello Tamari, inshallah. There are some beautiful verses, brother. Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam says, Kala Rabbi inni wahanal azmu. My bones have become weak, you know, <laughs> from me, minni, you know. How can you expect that I will have a child? Okay. And then there's a beautiful verse in the I think uh, Surah Luqman, I guess. Hamalathu ummuhu wahnan ala wahnan. Weakness after weakness. So there are some beautiful verses there waiting for us to explore in the Quran, inshallah. Huh? Brother and sister, Hati Mudariya. Hati Mudariya. Okay. Anzara Yunviru. Isam file Munzir. Huh? Are you with me? Isam file Munzir. Dayya'a. To lose or waste. Dayya'a. Yudayji. U. Form to. To lose or to waste. Huh? Hatha. Are you with me? Hatha. To urge. Huh? To encourage someone. What is the mudariya? Ya huthu, like hajja, ya hujju, hatha, ya huthu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Are you with me? Inshallah. Lesson number, adarsu, shreem. Brother, what is darsu shreem? Form, form, five. We are going to learn. Form 5, brothers and sisters. I'll briefly go and tomorrow.
not tomorrow. When I say tomorrow, I mean the next day, you know. Okay. Brother, go to the verbs in lesson number 20. Very interesting lesson, brothers and sisters. Adasul Ishuruna. Okay. Page number. I've got my old book, brothers and sisters. Al Madi Al Mudaria. Al Amar. Ism file. Ism Masta. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Did you get it? Ah, okay. Ah, 174. Ta'allama. Remember, we have already done this. When you go to Mudaria, it is all fata, fata, fata. The only time you get a kasra when it is ism, five. That's all. So it's easy, brothers and sisters. Ta'allama. Huh? So it has a relationship with form two. Allama became ta'allama. Okay? Ya ta'allamu, ta'allam, muta'allim, and ta'allum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Tafa ulum. Okay? And I say, jokingly, just think of sister, tabassum. That is the pattern of the master. What is the meaning of ta'allama? He learned. He learned. Tahaddasa. Ya tahaddasu. Tahaddas. Mutahaddisum. And tahaddu sum. Inshallah, you'll do it at home, inshallah. Takallama. Ya takallamu. Takallam. Mutakallim. What is mutakallim? Damir mutakallim, remember? Damir ghaib, damir mukhatab, and damir mutakallim. Okay? And what will be the master? Takallum. Tazakkara. Okay, brother? Tahaddasa is to speak. Huh? Okay? And takallama is also to speak. Meaning is same, brother and sister. Tazakkara is to remember. Ya tazakkaru. Tazakkar. Mutazakkir. Tazakkur. Tazakkar. What is it, sisters? Ta'akhar. Ya ta'akharu. Ta'akhar. Muta'akhir. Muta'akhir. Muta'akhir and then ta'akhuru. Ta'akhuru. Lakeness. Okay, brother. Now, next one is, brother, what is next one? Nakis. What are they? What are they? Nakis. This is very interesting. If you are strong... It is halwa puri. If you are not strong, then they become hard chickpeas to you. Okay. Tagadda. What is the meaning of tagadda? To take lunch. <laughs> ya tagadda. Hey, what is amar? Tagadda. Fialu amrin mabni nala hazafi harfi illa. And but the master tagadden. Tagadden. How did we get Tagadden? Again, some uh, mathematics and algebra will come. Uh, we won't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow, inshallah. I mean, I'll do it on Monday. Huh? I'll explain to you. It's very easy, brother. And, brother, th- that's it. Okay? The Asha. Yeah, the Asha. The Asha. Okay? And. Ta'ashin. Inshallah we'll do it tomorrow. Talakka. Talakka al-Adam. Huh? Adam received. Huh? Talakka to receive. Ya talakka. Tamanna. Oh, 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 what a beautiful word. Tamanna. I can't help it, brothers. I can't help it. Oh, tamanna. Or kya. Jani tamanna aap hai Kya karungi leke dunia Meri dunia aap hai Wo tamanna aur kya Such a beautiful word. And there is one more. Lappe aati hai dua banke Tamanna meri. Are you with me? 
लपयाती है दुआ बनके तमन्ना मेरी जिंदगी शम्मा की सूरत हो खुदाया मेरी आई स्पेशली डिड इट फॉर आवर लिटिल गेस्ट हियर बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू सी अर स्माइल यू नो अलहमदुल्ला रबना आतीना फिर दुनिया से नाता हूँ व फिर आखिर आतीया से नाता हूँ व किना आजा बनना रबना हबलना मिन अजवा जीना व जोरियातीना कुर्रता यूनिन वज अलना लिल मुत्तकीन इमामा रबना तकबल मिन्ना इन्न का समयल अलीम व तुब अलैना इन्न का तवाबुरहीम सुबहान रबिका रब